guys, how are you today? I am back with a bit of a random video, but I feel like it's kind of necessary. So if you're following me on Instagram, you will probably notice that my style has changed. I will say like after having Daisy and with the postpartum body, you just kind of go with whatever looks good on you, whatever you feel comfortable in. And then with COVID on top of that, I feel like last year I just lived in active wear. I'm in active wear now, but that's another story. It was a few months ago, I had a bit of an epiphany because I had this closet full of clothes, which a lot of them didn't fit, and I could never find an outfit. Like, it was so frustrating. I had so many clothes and nothing to wear. And I know that seems so stupid because I'd say to Dean, like, oh, I've got nothing to wear and I need to get something new for something that we have coming up and which is so silly because I have so many clothes and then I'm pretty sure that on TikTok I came across some fashion videos and it just got in my head that like I don't actually have a style or an aesthetic and having that would make things a lot easier. And then from there, I thought about the things that I like to look at with clothes, that I, how I want to be presented, how I feel like I want to dress. Then I kind of came up with a bit of a plan. It was, I don't know, I don't know if it was a plan, but um, I wanted to just revamp my wardrobe. Basically, some of you guys might not like the style that I'm going for, but I feel like it is working so well for me and I feel so much more confident in the things that I dress in now and more comfortable and it's so easy to get dressed and look nice. Like, ah! A lot of last year I dressed in like floral dresses or maxi dresses because I felt confident in them, but it's not really where I wanted my style to go. I really just wanted beige. <laughs> White, beige, bit of denim, tan, like that's what I wanted. When I would see other people dressing in those ways so on Instagram, I'm like, oh my God, it looks so classy. Like, how do I do it? And I'd been like looking online at things and I just been hesitant in spending money because I didn't actually want to spend a lot of money and like still have nothing to wear which is what I had been doing. It was actually, I'm pretty sure it was a seed sale that started me on this. And if you've looked at seed, beautiful, stunning, amazing, but they actually had 40% off of their sale item. This was in March, I wanna say. It got me going. I've made a big purchase. I did a haul on my like TikTok and Instagram. I actually filmed a haul for here, but I never ended up posting it and now it's way too late. I bought a whole bunch of stuff like whites, nudes, and that got me started. Some of the things didn't work out. Unfortunately, I missed the return deadline. So, but some of them did work out and that got me some really good staples. And then I just looked around, found some things in Kmart that would go along with this aesthetic and just found some things in my wardrobe that would still fit, that would go along, some staples. And then I've just been picking little bits here and there from certain stores. Um, definitely, I have a lot of Kmart in my wardrobe. It's just a staple store, honestly, like super inexpensive pieces and they look good. They're on trend. Like I feel like you have to look through a lot to find exactly what you're after. Whereas I used to just go in and be like, oh, this dress looks nice. And then, you know, that would be flattering for my body and just get it. But now with me choosing specific colors, like neutrals, and white, that's made it so much easier. I have also shopped a lot at Dotty. They have a lot of neutral things. And I also have been trying to work out like what kind of outfits go together. Very much like I love wearing dresses. I feel confident in dresses with my body type. I'm a bit of like an apple, but like a top heavy apple, I feel, with no bum. Um. <laughs> weird body shape um it's it's it can be really hard for me to find things that are flattering especially with a large bust and i have just tried to find things that will flatter me like i do actually really love cropped jumpers and crop tops and wearing them with high-waisted things to accentuate my waistline so high-waisted jeans skirts those kinds of things i also feel like 
putting uh, separates together is a little bit more casual, a bit less dressy than just wearing a dress. I don't know, for some reason when I wear a dress, I feel really like formal. I don't know why. Also one thing that I have really tried to work on is patterns. I have realized that the patterns in clothing just makes things like my wardrobe especially look a bit messy. So all the florals and everything, like they just look crappy together. Like you need, I need block colors and that's, <laughs> they just go with everything. Block colors, you can mix and match. You don't have to worry about, oh, well this is patterned. I have to wear solid with this or I just do what, whatever with block colors. I've recently actually put some of my maxi dresses on my Depop. I'm like, you know what? I want to move them on to someone that that's their style, that that's how they dress. I've also donated heaps of clothes. Um, yeah, selling heaps on Depop. I feel like this is just one big random ramble. Also, I've been like documenting my style kind of journey on on my Instagram. I've been sharing a lot of outfits and doing outfits of the week. And I find that that kind of helps me keep accountable. Fashion and the way I present myself, like it's been such a big thing in my life since like my early twenties, even at being a teenager. I loved getting new outfits and dressing up and like going out <laughs> and things like that. And then having a baby and then COVID, you just stay in and you get used to not putting on a face of makeup, not doing your hair, wearing track pants, and then like not even wearing nice track pants, <laughs> just wearing like the ones with paint on them. <laughs> and I definitely needed a change. I needed something to pick me up and so I could leave the house and feel comf confident and comfortable. And I feel like I've really done that. I'll just share some things that I've got here recently. So some wardrobe staples, jeans. These ones are from Just Jeans and I saw a TikTok that recommended button fly jeans for, you know, a mum tum kind of thing. Um, I had a C-section and I just have like, I think they call it an apron belly or something like that. Um, and this tends to disguise it a lot. <laughs> Um, these jeans are from Just Jeans. I think that they're called the Super Vintage. They're a straight leg. Have a look for straight leg jeans with buttons. Um, I can highly recommend them. One thing about jeans is they don't, you don't need to wear skinny jeans anymore. Um, I feel like jeans are like the worst things, but try and go for a more rigid style with buttons that are straight. And the good thing is like you can just roll them up and that's okay these days. You don't need to get them taken up. Here is a jumper from Dotty. This one is one of their chenille, chenille knits. Um, I would have got this on sale for like 30% off or 40% off. It's $60 normally. Um, this is a size medium um, and it's a beautiful like tan neutral color, but it, yeah, it has, it's that really soft chenille uh, fabric. So this is a cropped style. This is something that I would wear with those jeans. So this next piece I actually picked up from Kmart. I haven't even tried it on yet. Um, hopefully it looks okay, but it's a wool knitted dress, $30, uh, long sleeve, midi length, and it's got this beautiful cable detailing on the front of it and then plain at the back. Um, this is like a staple for autumn winter I feel warm and you can dress it up dress it down I'm excited to experiment with it and and find out what kind of outfits I can create it's actually one of my real ideas um, or TikTok ideas for this dress and then just pairing with some simple boots like this these are from Kmart um, they've got a lower heel I can't wear high heels anymore I just can't um, so these are pretty comfortable not the most comfortable but um, just a plain taupe pair of boots and then I bought these the other weekend um, they were only ten dollars from like spend less they were so good um, and pretty comfortable as well so just like you know simple nude tan heels so these are the, definitely the kind of colors that i'm going for in my wardrobe at the moment and i feel like they always look good together you can get through autumn winter you can get through all seasons with these kind of colors and having the staple I feel just so much more confident in myself by like revamping my wardrobe it is 
just so silly. It's so silly that I waited so long to feel more confident and comfortable in how I looked. Um, and like, I mean, I've been going into dressing rooms and filming videos for TikTok and Instagram and trying on things that I normally wouldn't try on. And I encourage it, do it. And definitely get out the camera and show how it looks on you. You don't have to post it. You don't have to show it to anyone. But if you're like, oh, I wonder how that dress looked. You can go back and look at that video and see how those jeans fitted and see, oh, actually they look better than I thought that they did. Because I filmed some videos in Target the other day and I tried on jeans and oh my God, I had like no luck. And I actually looked back and I'm like, oh, those ones aren't too bad. <laughs> so definitely do that. And, you know, as you get pieces, your wardrobe will go together. There's a few TikTokers that I um, follow and they talk about, you know, you have different styles. I'm not trying to go into a different style because I don't even have the brain capacity to figure that out. I'm just trying to go for colors at the moment that work well together because then I can just like grab a top with these jeans and that works or, you know, put on these with, you know, either like heels or the boots with the dress and that works too. So if you're wanting to see what I am wearing, definitely come and follow me on Instagram and uh, have a look at my like outfits of the week videos. I just show like little short snippets of me wearing what I'm wearing that day, <laughs> which I haven't filmed one today, but I'm wearing what I wore yesterday because I'm gonna film a whole bunch of content. Um, anyway, um, that's enough of me rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat video and um, it might encourage you to, you know, if you're into fashion or looking good or feeling good, um, it might encourage you to step out and go and find some pieces that make you feel confident. And also like being a new mum, like you lose yourself. <laughs> like definitely and um, my style has definitely changed and evolved over the years and I just needed something that can be classy and sophisticated no matter what occasion so hope you guys are doing well thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye